Hey guys, this is Squeege, and for the conclusion of Game Jolt Week, I break my one rule. Sort of. My one rule being I, will I said I will never play a Five Nights at Freddy's game. And this technically isn't Five Nights at Freddy's, it's One Night of Flumpties. But you'll see why. It's hysterical and, hell, this is probably creepier than the new one. I mean, the actual one. Uh, anyway, let me crank up the volume. The static will be annoying for a second, but there's no... Pretty much no in game sounds, there's flumpy talking, the screams they make at the deaths, and the beaver hitting its head, head against your door. We'll get to that later. Alright, without further ado, let us start. Easier said than done. Just look at this. This is beautiful. And you can do this. Honk. There he is. Hi, I'm Flumpty Bumpty. I'm an egg. I'm immune to the plot, and I can transcend time and space. Also, I'm coming after you. You can figure out the rest. Have fun. <laughs> Man drinks lava and lives, kinda. Okay, so we have a beaver. Okay, we'll get to him later. We have Flumpty. That thing. I got Oh, he moved. This is like the fucking kitchen. There's a pit with eyes. We have two hallways. Ah, uh, where's Flumpy? Or <laughs> that could have gone better. Oh, and isn't that beautiful? I think the merchant's jump scare. I think what happens when the merchant gets you in a spooky house of jump scares is worse. Honk. For good luck. No hysterical phone call this time. Flip the kidnaps person because he felt like it. I think that might be me. Well, my character, anyway. Uh, where's the flumpty is flumpty? Not there. Cam 4. I think Cam 3 does work. Eventually. Fuck. Seriously, what the hell is up with this decor? There's Honk. that. A dog poster. Whatever the hell that is. I think it's Donkey Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, Cranky Kong. Uh, we have a Donkey Kong. Looks like he's seen everything he will ever see. A uh, beheaded Dr. Mario. With half of Winnie the Pooh. Uh. A dog, a shovel, a log, a crying baby, underpants, a bra, a cactus, Gatorade, a ball, and a one-eyed elephant. Not to mention a half-eaten moldy sandwich, a toaster, a brain, two banana peels, a Santa hat, vomit, and one of those stupid ring toss to toys. Like three. And Dr. Mario pills. That might explain why his body's head is here. Up, oh, the beaver's done reading his paper. Fuck, there's a the little cube. Good, good idea to check those. That little motherfucker gets me. Alright, he's gone. At this point, you know they'll be getting to your doors eventually. You just basically want to check the beaver's cam and maybe the hallway cams. Anyway, what the hell is that a map of? Doesn't look anywhere familiar. It'd be really cool if they took a map of, like, the location of your town. They use, like, GPS to track you. Up, oh, they're both coming this way. How's that work? Is there? No, there's not two of them. It's 
one of them had a pipe and a top hat before. I would, this is like Honk. something that could have been like Gravity Falls or something. Not a big fan of that show, but it looks nice, I'll give it that. It's not as mindless as some things, such as uh, Teen Titans Go or something along the lines of that. Anyway, I can see this. I think it's probably more terrifying than the actual Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh wait, I spoke its name. Shit. Well, I better start screaming at the camera whenever something happens. Flailing about like most YouTubers. Oh, you can barely see his top hat. I mean, his party hat under the top hat. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yep, there's the beaver bashing his head against the wall. The door, but... Good. I typically don't overreact and see there's the party hat. I typically don't overreact like most YouTubers do. Like seriously, if you will, you know what I'm talking about, like Markiplier, I actually like him, Yummy Mash, so when even something remotely scary happens, they flail about like they're having an epileptic seizure, but I don't overreact like that. Is that shit behind the elephant? That's disgusting. A sock too. Spider web. What's with that hole in the wall? Beaver still there. Good. There's a another monster. I'm not gonna give away the actual monster. I keep wanting to hit the light button instead of the door button. Good, the beaver's still there. Yeah, the lights have a purplish tint to them. I don't think lights are supposed to do that. I wonder if this game's even beatable, because there's a fourth monster, and you'll see why I'm wondering if it's beatable. Why does that thing have a pipe and suspenders and... Oh shit, where is he? Why is he dressed like a Victorian era gentleman? Oh, boy. Clown's coming through. Okay, I gotta never put my camera up again, and I'll be fine. Now listen for the footsteps of the beaver, but it's not going to make a. It's not going to make for very interesting gameplay. Shit, I think I have to put it up at one point. I will abstain from doing so. Oh fuck. We can cut through different ones. Yep. I mean, nope, but still. I'm gonna make sure we back up the proper. Oh, that thing's coming through. Again, not putting my camera up. I'm gonna try. Honk, 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 honk. I wonder if we can do that to him. Nope. Yep, there's literally hell in there. What the fuck was that thing? Oh yeah, I remember. I think that's Red Man from One Piece 2. I remember seeing that. Weird, it comes out of my left stereo speaker even when it's on the right side. Hmm. This is what happens. That's what gets released when hell. That thing is definitely coming through. Honk, 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 honk. I wonder if something happens if I click on anything else. 
Well, I better check the doors. Not so far, nothing. There's at least something happened. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? There's no golden flumpty this time. I destroyed golden flumpty last time I played. Killed me at 4 a.m. <laughs>